Hi friends, it's Magpie here and today I'm taking you birding with me. If you're new to this channel, I am attempting to see 421 unique bird species by the end of 2023. So I bird almost every single morning and I've never showed you guys what that looks like. Today I am in Carlisle, Pennsylvania and I feel really weird on this trail because it goes right past a school and I have like my backpack on and I have binoculars, which I feel like is kind of weird. So we're gonna get past this part really quick. My goal today is to see some migrating warblers. I think they should be here by now. Definitely hear a lot of cardinals up in here. I also hear a gray catbird crying over here and a robin over here. We are gonna take advantage of this bench and do some sound ID. I used this app called Merlin. It takes this bird sounds around you and identifies them. Right now, I hear a tufted titmouse, some robins, but let's see if I'm missing anything. I missed a lot. Okay, we've got the tufted titmouse, like I said, American Goldfinch, Northern Cardinal, Song Sparrow, Red-Bellied Woodpecker, and House Wrens. And no Warblers, sadly. I am on the Latorte Spring Run Trail here. It starts out like very urban and then becomes a bird restoration area. I just saw a super cool bird out there called a Belted Kingfisher. That's a good bird. Canada geese. Ooh, a lot of them. There's a little chickadee right in front of me. Merlin just caught a really cool bird, a scarlet tanager. We're gonna see if we can confirm that one because that's a neat bird. Ooh, great blue heron. Here he goes. Oh yeah, he's up in there. That was his call. I wish he would come out because he's so pretty. We've got a beautiful wood thrush calling. They sound like flutes. I think they have some of the prettiest calls. I'm also hearing a common yellow throat, which is a really cool bird. That's a warbler, but I already have that one this year. I don't know if this is working. There's a gray cat bird right there. They're so cute. They look like they have little toupees. Also a Carolina wren. Guys, I just saw and heard a Baltimore Oriole. That, my friends, is a new bird. Yay! I am definitely gonna get rained on. There's a red-winged blackbird. I hear a cardinal. That's his call. They kind of sound like a laser beam. Pew, 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 pew. I have seriously never seen this many gray catbirds in my life. It's insane. Here is a pair of mallards. Hopefully I didn't scare them. Oh, sorry guys. Look at how pretty this is though. Cities are not my favorite place to bird for obvious reasons, but something I do enjoy about them is finding the little sanctuaries within the cities that I wouldn't have otherwise known were there. Like who would have known that this was in a city in Pennsylvania? Not me. I also just heard a morning dove and a brown-headed cowbird. Quick fact, brown-headed cowbirds are brood parasites, which means they lay their eggs in other birds' nests. Those bird victims actually end up raising the young of the brown-headed cowbird. Do you hear those jays out there? They're awake. Oh man, it's really coming down now. There's a bird out in this field that I don't recognize. It kind of looks like a female oriole to me, but I'm gonna check it with Merlin. Oh yeah, that was definitely it. There's a beautiful male Baltimore oriole in this tree. I'm gonna try to sneak up on it. Here he goes. Oh my gosh, there's a hawk out there. I'm so bad at hawks. Oh shoot, he just flew away. Oh dang it. If the hawks don't call, I have like no chance of IDing them. It kind of looked like a Cooper's hawk to me. I'm just so bad at it. They all look the same. Tell me these are different birds. You can't. When I can't ID a bird in the field, which happens often, I usually try to snap a picture of it. And of course, I didn't bring my camera today because I knew it was gonna start raining. At that point, we wait to see if it comes back or we wait for it to call, which it did neither. So then we just kind of give up, unfortunately. Way out there, there's two wood ducks, a male and a female. And I'm recording so far away because they're super flighty and I know as soon as I get any closer, they're going to flee. Every bird gets excited when they see those. I am heading back. I'm about to drop like five miles birding this morning. I can't believe I saw like no warblers here. That is so dumb. Together we saw 21 species today. Only one new one for the year, but that's okay. If you enjoy this content, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.
Bye.